Yo everybody, it's Kabachi, and welcome back to more Let's Play Minecraft Survival. Um, as you can see, I have expanded my tree farm out a little bit up here. Um, still, still a very nice view from up here. Um, there's some clouds, um, but yeah. Um, I, I, as you can see, I've enchanted a pickaxe. I've made some cookies. I've actually, I've actually uh, made some armor. I uh, made made a leather tunic and then dyed it with uh, rose red because I like red. Red's pretty cool. And yeah, I've also uh, I'll head on over there and show you some other stuff I've done. I mean, go sleep real quick. What are you doing, sir? A whole bunch of creatures are burning up right here. Oh, uh, that's clever. Get underneath the shadow of that. I've raised a, I, I've been breeding these cattle like crazy, so I've got I got a ton of leather from that and bee. On oh, bees in my chest, so um, I I, I bred the sheep a little bit. I thought I could use a little a few more. Um, and I've used this leather to make an enchantment table, so so that's why I have this enchanted uh, iron pickaxe. It's not that great, but it's it's better than a normal one. So, yeah, well, I, I can pro I can probably start. When I get a few more bookcases, I, I should be getting level 30 enchantments pretty soon, so that'll be nice. Used to, it was like 50, and that took forever to get up to. It was just, it, 50 was just kind of unreasonable. Yeah, I've also expanded my sugar cane farm out. I've, just like, make a bunch of paper. And... Uh, I, no, I forget how to make cake. I'll probably look at it later. Because I've got a good supply of milk right here. Oh, my voice just cracked. That's awesome. Okay. But anyway, I've been trying to think what I want to do on this episode besides work on my sky fortress. And there's a creeper. Good thing I have an impenetrable house. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. So what I want to do on this episode is I found a sand temple, but I didn't want to explore it without you guys. So I I think that's what what we'll do at the beginning of this episode at least. If I'm out of time, then I'll save some other projects for some other episodes. So it's right over. It's not out too far away. I might actually make a second secondary base over here. Cause this would be a good opportunity to uh, mine mine some sand for glass and sandstone. I put a crafting table. It's it's a it's kind of a little river, but like a little uh, river that goes out into the ocean. But so I, and I put a crafting table right next to the river. It was. Okay. So I think there's like two or three little rivers before you get there. Maybe. You know, I don't remember. It's been a whole day. Um, somewhere around here. See you, Cookie. Uh, where's my sword? Where's my sword? Where's my sword? Is that it? There it is. Okay, we will park our bus right here. Don't explode, please. Thank you. There's Sand Temple. Da 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 da. What the heck? Huh. Guess I got intersected by that water. Anyway, yeah, sand temple, yo. Let's go on inside. 
How far between torches? How stupid was that? Um, yeah, I don't have anything to light this place up with. I guess we'll just be careful. Wow! Maybe there was something good behind this efficiency. No, where's the hole? Okay. Now, in these sand temples, you don't fall on that uh, parsh play right there because the whole thing will blow up. There's a bunch of TNT underneath it. So you kind of just gotta work your way down there. I'm hoping nothing spawns while I'm down here. I'm trying to try to get the TNT as well. Oh crap. What did I do? Oh my god, that was close. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if the pressure plate can be activated by that, but Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Pressure plate deactivated. Ah, oh, an emerald! Gold bone. Bone. Uh, zombie flesh. Why do I need zombie flesh? Or zombie flesh. I got a bunch of gold though. That's like if I ever want to build power rail somewhere, that would be useful. Well, I was hoping for some diamond, but beggars can't be choosers. At least we got an emerald. Oh wait, I, I I can also get the all these chests and the TNT underneath it. Oh. Come on, dudes. Yeah, that's, that's not 19 TNT. I'm not letting that go to waste. Do these chests as well. Get as much as you can from these places. Okay. That looks good. I probably just use a chisel sand stone, but I don't really care. I make my own. Okay, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, got got a few more resources. What do we have before we came here? That's good. Have a lot of gold. Uh, got a lot of TNT. Pretty awesome, huh? So now let's. Uh, I guess we'll head back home. I've I've got another project I want to work on for this episode. I think that's really all there is to the sand temple is that little pit right there. I don't think there's really all that much more. I mean, it's not, it's nice for decoration though. I mean, it's where to go. My my mouse keeps glitching up. I don't know why, but it's it's it looks really nice. I mean, they did a nice job on the design of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and head, sail back over here, and hopefully I can at least at least start the project, my next project. And this project will inevitably help us with our uh, with the sky fortress. But you know, I just need a bunch of materials that I don't have right now. So, and last time I started a, a sky fortress, I already had had the silk touch. What the fuck is going on here? Okay. Okay, well, I already had the silk touch enchantment last time I started my. Oh my god, I'm about to sneeze. I... So many interruptions. Last time I started my Sky Fortress, I had the silk touch enchantment. That allowed me to pick up grass and move it, over, move it up there. But. I don't have that right now, so I'm gonna have to sell for dirt for right now to grow trees and grow crops and stuff up there. Eventually, I'm gonna get. I hope to get potatoes and carrots if I can find a village. I might explore that desert a little bit more. Oh, there's the there's the forest. Very nice. I think that crafting table means I'm almost there. Maybe. I think I'm almost there. There it is. Uh, render. There you go. The sun's about to go down. Perfect timing. Ow. All right, everybody. So episode ten was kind of a bust. Um, I 
Uh, I was mean. I meant to build a cobblestone. Oh my god, there's creeper. Okay, let's just get rid of the sucker. Whoa. Okay. Good enough for me. Um. So I'm. I meant to. Uh, let's. Now I. I I kind of I kind of broke this, but it doesn't really matter because it's not very useful. But I, I was making a cobblestone generator to uh, for cobblestone for my my fortress, right? Basically, how this works is it will the water will hit the lava and it will make cobblestone. And then th this piston will push it out, and then these pistons will push it up, making kind of like kind of like a wall shape, right? The thing is. I mean, it works for a while, but then after a while, you have to start. You have to wait for the next cobblestone. Wait for the next cobblestone after that, and you know it, it just it just takes a while, and it it's a lot faster just to mine all that out. So what I'm going to do is, if I can get up here, is I'm going to. And this part won't be in the next episode. Uh, now. Now this is going to be a ca there's going to be a castle right here once I finish flattening this out and I have enough resources and I I can't really continue my sky fortress either because that also demands a lot of resources so I I guess the those right there are just two big projects to look forward to um but I think in the next episode I'm going I I finally figured out how to make a uh, breed chickens you need to uh, it's it's basically the same as uh, cows and sheep, but you use seeds instead. So I'll gather like the three chickens I have over here left from my chicken massacre of episode three, and I guess I guess what we'll do is we'll make a chicken farm, and what also what I'm going to do is I have some TNT left. I'm going to make an X-ray machine, and we're going to go looking for mine shafts, um, some monster spawners. Because we really need, we need really need to start getting a, a mom trap up set up. Because I, I need, because I have uh, this is 1.4.7, and episode eight and nine were were recorded in 1.4.5. So I don't know what I don't know how that's relevant, but um, but the the fact is, it's been a couple, it's been a few weeks since I recorded them, and um, I've expanded out my bookshelf thing, and it's. I can get up to level 28 right now, so it, if I get just a little bit more, just a few more books, I can get up to level 30. So like, so after I mass slaughter these cows, maybe I can, uh, I can make another bookshelf and then get up to level 30. But I, I can't really use the level 30 enchantment unless I'm at level 30. So I'm going to need a mob system. So yeah, I guess I guess that's what we'll we'll start looking for mine chests and stuff on the next episode. Um, I'll, I'll probably, uh, I'm, I might be doing stuff differently from now on because I've been, I've been contemplating whether to, just to re completely reboot this series or to continue on with this, but just have bigger projects. And I, I think, I think finding a mine shaft will be a pretty good priority for next episode because we can get some melons, some pumpkins, it'll be awesome. So, everybody, until next time, this has been Gabachi Studio, signing off. Later, guys.